New insight into a deadly police shooting that sparked protest here in the Valley. Phoenix police have just released all the body cam footage. And we want to warn you, it's graphic. It is, Nicole. Police say it clearly shows their officers were threatened that day. Jason Berry shows us what led up to the shooting. This is another one of those shootings that prompted public outrage, questioning officers' actions. Phoenix PD is hoping that by releasing this new body cam footage, it will provide a clear picture of what happened and better explain why officers use deadly force. There was a protest and candlelight vigil. The death of 28-year-old James Garcia raised some serious questions about whether Phoenix police were justified when they shot and killed Garcia in the driveway of a Phoenix home near 56th Avenue and Indian School Road back on July 4th. You all right, man? Yeah, all right. Phoenix police are hoping this body cam video from the day of the shooting answers many of the questions the public might have. The video shows officers going to a house to investigate a possible stabbing. When they arrive, Garcia is spotted sitting in the front seat of a car parked in the driveway. Officers ask Garcia several times to get out of the car. They said he's not in trouble, they just need to clear the area. But Garcia refuses and gives police a fake name and birthday. About 10 minutes later, a sergeant comes over and asks him to leave again. He refuses. Is there a reason you're not getting out of the car? Well, right now, there, we've got reports that somebody was stabbed at this house, so we need to figure out who everybody is and whether or not you're involved in that. Moments later, Garcia rolls up his window. Then an officer reportedly sees Garcia grab a gun. This is what happened next. I can't see his hands. He's got a gun. Hey, put that get your hand off the gun. Get your hand off the gun. Hey, do not move it. I will shoot you. He's not dropping the gun. Take the window. Take the window out. We tried contacting Garcia's family and organizers of the protest, but have not heard back. People react to something that really isn't what happened. Phoenix Police Sergeant Mercedes Fortune said there was a lot of misinformation that went out on social media following the shooting, and it's important to set the record straight. It's about just wanting to show you what really happened as much as we can, and so that people have the facts and then they can make their own determination on, on what happened that day. Gun is secure. It is still unclear why Garcia refused to get out of the car in the first place, but we have learned he had some outstanding warrants and was on probation and was not allowed to have a gun. The incident itself is also going through an independent civil rights review by the FBI. In the West Valley, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.